So as I you know, come to the store, I look around the store, I yeah, see lots of all socks. different types of socks. <laughs> How do I know socks. what type of sock is right for me as a rock? Sure. So the first big faux pas in socks is that cotton is rotten. If you've ever gone camping, you know that if your cotton shirt gets wet, you're going to get cold. Same thing with your, your running socks or your marching socks. Mm -hmm. Our feet have 250,000 sweat glands on them. So that's a quarter of a million sweat glands on each foot. When you exercise for an hour, whether that be marching or running, your feet are gonna sweat about one cup of wow. Yeah, so what happens to your hands or your feet if you're in the pool or a lake for an hour? Right, they get all... Yeah, they kind of mm -hmm. swell up and, and they absorb a lot of that and they get all pruny. Right. Same thing will happen. A lot of that sweat gets reabsorbed by your foot, but some of it will sit. And if your sock gets wet, cotton will stretch out. When cotton stretches out, it allows it to fold over itself. And anytime oh, okay. you've got any not perfectly fitting material underneath the foot, it can cause hot spots and blisters. Um, the other thing is, is your, uh, your bunk mates will appreciate this, <laughs> that um, once you start to sweat, there's a lot of bacteria in there, and if uh, that bacteria sits on your socks too long and in your shoes, it'll make everything stink. Right. So if you can wear a moisture wicking sock made okay. with a synthetic material, or even wool, wool's a great oh, really? um, material okay. for a sock. Sometimes people think that wool is only for winter. Right. Wool is amazing on super hot, humid days. And if you think about it, the sheep, which is where wool comes from, the best sheep live in the high Alps, where it gets to be 90 degrees during the summer, but it gets below 30 in the winter. But they keep that huge, fluffy right. yes. kind of coat of hair. And that's because wool is the perfect insulator. When it gets too warm, it knows how to release. Okay. And when it's cold, it knows to keep that trapped in there. So. Socks is definitely really good, especially when you're running. You want to make sure that those feet stay as cool as possible. You don't want to get blisters. Right, so we're staying away from cotton. Yes. We're looking at a moisture wicking, synthetic type Correct. material or a wool. Yes. And they 